On the previous parts, we did add error handling in the home component. And we did also refactor our code, so we'd be using the HTTP client to load all the data for our app. Adding error handling in every single method is time consuming, especially when you are working on really large applications. In this case, a better solution is to add a global error handling, and that is what you're going to learn on this part. For that, you need to first create a global error handler service. You need to handle the error within this service. And then the last step is going to be to provide the error handler to the app.module.ts. So let us go to Visual Studio Code and see it in action. We said that the first step is to create a new service. So for that in here, I'll just go to source and then inside source, go to app and then services. In these services, I'll just right click and then open in integrated terminal. And in here, we're going to type the CLI command to create the service. The CLI command is ng, then g for generate, s for service. The name of this service is going to be the global error handler. Then I'll press enter. So the service was created. And if you go inside the services folder, you have in here two files. The first one is a spec.ts and the second one is the actual service. If I open the service file in here, you see that we have created the service. Now the global error handler service, if you want, you can just name this as global error handler. And then in here, I'll just implement or you need to implement from the error handler which belongs to the angular core once you implement from the error handler you'll get an error in here which says that now inside the global error handler you need to have the handle error method and you get the suggestion to add that method here on the left so in here i'll just select the option implement interface error handler and Inside here, just after the constructor, you have handle error. And then inside here, you have the error of type any, and you can do whatever you want with the error. Now, to handle the error down here, you can either display an error message on the screen. You can just console.log the error. It's your choice. I'm just going to console.log the error. So console.log, and then error occurred. And then just the error. If you want, you can also send this error to a logging infrastructure. You can also show an error on the screen. This is basically just your decision how you want to handle the error. So this is the second step. Now the third step is going to be to provide the error handler. So for that, you need to just go to app and then go to scroll down here, go to app.module.ts. And then in the providers, just inside the providers array, we're going to also add the global error handler service. For that, you can either type in here error handler. So global error handler. Or if you want this file to handle certain tasks within the ng module, like for example, to handle all the errors. So if you want to use this file to handle all the errors within the Angular application, then you need to be more specific when you configure the global error handler. So for that in here, just after the comma, I'm going to add and close curly brackets. And then inside here, I'll type that I want to provide for the error handler, which comes from the Angular core, I want to provide a class that you can use to handle the errors. And for that, I need to type use class and define the global error handler class. So when you add this configuration like this, it means that if any errors happen within the app, then use the class global error handler to handle the errors. So now here, let us save the changes and go to the components here on the left inside the app, we have the components folder. And then inside here, I'll just go to details. And then for the details, I'll go to the details.component.ts. 
you can see that whenever this component is loaded inside the ngon init we have defined that we want to load this method which is load movie summary and the movie summary is using movies service and then get movie summary method now let us go and break this method because in here you can see that we don't have any error handling related data so i'll just go to get movie summary i'll hold the control key and then click and then in here instead of loading the assets data movie summary i'll just load the movie summary not exist which is a file that does not exist and is going to break our app now in our app what i'll do is that i'll go to the movie details but i'll first open the console window and then i'll just go to console i'm just going to clean this up and then click any movies to go to the movie details and now you'll see that you get an error and you get the error occurred and inside the error occurred you also have the error object but now the error is being handled by the global error handler